Let's go on a new adventure with us eagle kids And don't forget to bring your siblings And also don't forget to bring your friends along We are going to have much fun We're going to do this together Starting today, are you guys ready to pick a stop agent? Let's go, let's go, cha 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 Let's go on new adventure with us Let's go, let's go, cha 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 Bring your siblings and friends along Starting today, ha 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 We are going to have so much fun Starting today, ha 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 We wanna be cast of ancient Let's go, let's go, cha 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 Let's go on new adventure with us Starting today, ha 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 We wanna be cast of ancient Let's go, cha 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 Let's go, cha 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 Let's go, cha 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 Hi guys, welcome back to Eagle Kids Online Service. How are you guys? Have you found the treasure? Then let's take out our treasure and say it together. But wait, wait, wait. Before start, let us pray first. Please fold your hands and close our eyes. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for today. We want to praise and worship you. We want to meet you, Lord. Please bless us today. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. Now, let's take out our treasure in the count of three. One, two, three. Bye bye. bye. You guys are awesome. You can find the treasure. Wow, I'm so happy that we can find the treasure together. Now, how about we play games together? Let's play. Let's play. Feli, what are we going to play? So, we're going to play a game using our Bible. Now, let's take our Bibles and I will give you the questions. Please say whether the sentence is correct or wrong. And if the sentence is wrong, please say the correct answer. Are you ready? Ready. Ready. Okay, let's start with the first question. The first man that God created is Adam. Correct hmm. or wrong? I think it's right. I think it's right. Yes, good job guys. Yay. You guys are right. Okay, next question. Joseph has 12 male siblings. 12 male siblings. Hmm, I think it's also correct. No, it must be wrong because Joseph has 11 male siblings. Yes, you're right, Ricky. Wow, good job. Okay, next question. This one is hard. Noah has five people inside the Noah's Ark. Noah, his wife, and three of his sons. Correct or wrong? Of course, correct. What do you think? It must be seven. Nope, you guys are wrong. The correct answer is eight. Noah, his wife, his three sons, and three of his daughter-in-law. Oh. Okay then, let's move on to the next question. David took out five stones with him while facing the Goliath. Five stones? I think it's... No, because David killed Goliath with only one stone. Five stones? Okay, I just guess it's right. Yes, you're right again. It's five stone that David bring with him while facing the Goliath. Okay, now the last question. Jacob was sold by his brother because he told them about his dream. That's, I think yes. That's correct. No, you're wrong. Huh? The correct answer, it was Joseph. Oh. Yay, you guys did such a great job. Amazing, guys. Whoa, the game was fun and it's pretty easy though. Come on, let's continue our journey. Wait, it can't be open. Let me try. Oh no, the door cannot be open. 
We're trapped here. Somebody, please help us, please. Please, Feli, calm down. Let's take a look and find some clue here. Okay. Hmm. Mm -hmm. There must be a clue somewhere. I don't wow, see. Wow, I think I find it. Yeah, this must be it. Oh. But oh. I cannot open it. Hmm. Can you open it? Okay. Oh, wait, wait. There's a clue. There's a question. There's a clue. What, who is the real hero in the Bible? Oh, I know. It must be someone strong and can even take down a giant. The answer must be David. Okay. David? You are wrong, Ali. Hmm. Since we are trapped inside, we need someone that can get us out. Someone that can get the Israelites out from Egypt. The answer is Moses. Moses? Mm -hmm. uh, it's still wrong. Yeah, that's not still the answer. Oh, I knew it. It must be like Paul and Silas when they trapped in jail, they would praise and worship God and then God released them from jail. Then let's praise and worship God together. Yay! Okay. Hello everyone. Welcome back to Eagle Kids Online Service. Before we start the service, let's pray first. Dear Jesus, thank you for today and thank you for this new year. In this year, we want to know you more. We want to love you more. We want to grow more in you. Thank you, Jesus. We love you so much. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, kids, are you ready to praise Jesus? If you ready, say hallelujah. Don't forget to smile. Hallelujah, hallelujah.
Ricky, can it be open? No, it still can't be open. Even though we didn't open the treasure chest, but my heart is full of joy after praising God. Yeah, me too. I'm so happy because I can praise God with our friends at home. But who is the real hero in the Bible? Hmm, I think we must ask our friends at home. Kids, do you know the answer? Wow, I see. Here's many answers. Some say Abraham, some say Noah, Moses, and many more. You are right, they are all great people in the Bible and deserve to be called hero. But who is the real superhero? I knew it. Let's just ask Miss Eagle Kids. She must know the answer. Agree! Kids, prepare your heart. Let's worship together. Love and desire 
Hi everyone, I'm Miss Abigail. Hmm, let me ask you something. Do you like to read comics or maybe watch movies about the superhero? I do. What kind of superhero do you like? Is it the Superman that can fly? Or maybe the green angsty guy, Hulk? Or maybe Iron Man with a fancy iron suit? Phew! Or maybe it's the Captain America with the shield? Or perhaps some of you girls might like the superhero, the princess warrior who's stronger than most of the men, the Wonder Woman. Hmm, there's just so many superheroes out there. You name it. Well, these are called the superheroes because they can do great and extraordinary stuff, you know. Can you imagine just how cool is that to have one superhero or even a group of superheroes that come and fight against the enemies and save many people and even the whole city? Well, actually, in the Bible, there are also heroic characters and all of them can also do great and extraordinary stuff as well. One of my favorite Bible characters has got to be Queen Esther. You see, Queen Esther, she's a beautiful, brave, yet a wise queen despite of her young age. God used her to save the whole Israel nation from the evil plot of Haman. Isn't that cool? Now, how about you? Who's, who is your favorite Bible character? Maybe it is Moses or David or maybe Elijah? Who knows? But before we talk more about the superhero, let's pray to our greatest hero, shall we? Let's close our eyes, bow our head, and pray. Our almighty and most powerful God of heaven and the earth, we praise you for being such a mighty God in our life. Father, we thank you for your one and only son's heroic sacrifice on the cross that saved all humanity. Lord, please help us to discover and witness more of your greatness and power through the sermon today. In the name of Jesus we pray, Amen. Moses is one of the greatest heroes that God used in the Old Testament. He was unable to set the whole Israel nation free from the long slavery in Egypt and led them towards the promised land by the power of God that had been given to him. When the whole nation of Israel was helplessly pursued by the seemingly horrifying Egyptian army, Moses lifted up his rod stretch out his hand over the great Red Sea and divide the sea just as God had commanded. Therefore, the sea was greatly pushed back on both sides and the Israelites were able to walk on the dry land and cross over the sea while the enemies were defeated. David, on the other hand, was chosen to be the future king of Israel, to replace King Saul ever since he was just a little shepherd boy. Not only did this little boy fought against great beasts like bear and lion, which are many times bigger than his size, one of the most iconic heroic moments of David was when he fought against the giant from Philistine. You know it, right? What's his name? That's right! God used David alone to defeat Goliath, the once formidable giant feared by all people has now been defeated. And that wasn't all. 
throughout the history of Israel, there had been no other king after him who was able to bring such greatness and glory to the nation like King David did during his reign. Last but not least, another Bible hero is Elijah. He was one of the greatest prophets that God used amazingly from reviving a dead child of a widow back alive in Zarephath to standing against 450 prophets of Baal and 400 prophets of Asherah and declare God's greatness and power of God that he worship. And God defended prophet Elijah and once again the enemies were defeated. There are many other Bible heroes that are also great and extraordinary. But guess what? Who is the main character or the main hero in the Bible? Was it Moses, David, Elijah, or the other Bible hero? Well, fret not, the answer is no. None of them were the main hero. The main hero in the Bible was Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the main character or the main hero in the Bible. Now, you might have a question. If that's the case, why is the Bible written and passed down all the way to our time now? Why are people still reading the Bible? Well, to get into this, we need to first know about Jesus. So in Jesus' times, there were so many miraculous things that happened to show that Jesus Christ is actually God and Savior. And there were a lot of accounts in the book of Luke to show that God is actually the Savior and Luke is just one of the Old Testament books. God also used many eyewitnesses to share, to let those people share about the testimonies of God and the work of God from mouth to mouth. You see, just now I mentioned about Luke and actually Luke was one of them who account all these witnesses. Luke was someone who wanted to observe carefully, someone who wanted to record and organize and put all these stories together in an orderly manner. So some of you may be like Luke. You like to write stories, maybe you like to journal about what you've read in the Bible. Maybe you might be the tiny Lukes out there. Just kidding. But anyway, why are, those, why are these stories written? Well, Luke delivered all these messages to Theophilus, not just one, but actually two books all together, from the time when Jesus was born and until the time when Jesus was working all the miraculous works, all the way until Jesus' crucifixion and even up to the point when Jesus was raised to heaven. So, the first reason why the Bible is written is actually because Jesus is the reason. Jesus is the reason why this Bible is written, so that the whole world might come to know him as who he is. The book of Luke showcased Jesus Christ as the Savior for all sinners, not only in Jerusalem alone, but for all people during his time and for people in our times and also for the people who is to come in the future time. So if you want to know about Jesus Christ personally, it shouldn't be a boring task for us to read the Bible, isn't it? Jesus is the only one and only reason why we should read the Bible and why the Bible is written. Just like what a prophet called Simeon said in Luke 2 verse 30 to 32. 
It says that, For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you prepared before the face of all peoples, a light to bring revelation to the Gentiles, and the glory of your people Israel. God longed for all people, including you and me, to be saved by believing in Jesus Christ that He is the one true Son of God and the Savior of our soul. So, for some of you who might not have opened up your heart to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, maybe this is a good time. And maybe for some of you who have accepted Jesus as your God and Savior, it is also a good time for you to share about your testimonies to your fellow friends or the people around you. Maybe one simple way is through singing or sharing them a song like Jesus lives in my heart Jesus lives in my soul Every day of my life Your love, it overflows Ooh, I love that song Do you know what's the title of the song? Mm, I'm sure you know it Now, secondly, why the Bible is written is because Jesus is the real hero. Say with me, Jesus is the real hero. No matter how cool, how strong, how formidable those Bible heroes are, they are just human beings who use the power from God and the greatness from God. Without God, they could not be as strong, as formidable, and as cool as they are. And some more, they are just human beings who have flaws like us. So, remember, the Bible is written in a way to tell everyone that there is someone with the most valuable that we can ever ask for in our lives and that someone is Jesus Christ who can do everything, literally every single thing in our lives. So, next time when we feel stuck or we feel upset, we feel like we cannot do anything, we felt hopeless, helpless, and we need somebody to rescue us. Who's the person that we should call for? Who's that superhero? Jesus Christ. When we come to Him, He will rescue us. Now, He's not just a fictional character, not just a Bible teacher, He's also not just a doctor, an influencer, a Bible scholar, but he's literally everything. He is God and the Savior who saved all of us, all humanity throughout all time. And I remember that there is one superhero called Doctor Strange. Now, he is one of my favorite superheroes because he can control time with his hand. That's pretty cool. But do you know that God controls all time? And actually, God is beyond the concept of time, which means he is, he is not controlled by time. Like us, who need to look at our watch and tell us what's the time now. And now is the time for us to believe in Jesus for some of us who hasn't. And for those of you who have trust in Jesus, it's a good time to share with others about Jesus. So, Eagle Kids, regardless of your age, whether you're 8, you're 9, you're 10, maybe you're just 7, God can use you like Luke to organize, to share with other Theophiluses, to share with them about the work of Jesus, and maybe to sing a song, to praise and to worship in front of people so that they can see the work of God. And maybe miraculous things might just happen to them so that they can come to know Jesus and they can be saved too. So, next time, if somebody asks you, 
Why is the Bible written? So at least you have two good reasons. What are those? First, Jesus is the reason. And secondly, Jesus is the real hero. So with these two reasons, you should be able to tell your friend why the Bible is written. Now we have come to the end of the sermon and today Miss Abby would like to challenge some of you who have not invited Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Maybe some of you might have the urge to want to serve God. Maybe some of you might have the urge to want to worship God but all this time you have been hesitant. You're not sure if you should follow God or not. Or maybe some of you were afraid. Will Jesus really help me and rescue me in all my trouble? Will He really help me even when I made a foolish mistake? Well, rest assured, God is our main superhero in our lives. He will never abandon us. He will always help us and rescue us when we follow Him. So, friends, those of you who would like to submit your lives to Jesus and to follow Him, please follow Miss Abby, put your hands on your chest, and close your eyes and repeat after me. Okay? Let's close our eyes. Repeat after Miss Abby. Lord Jesus, I admit to you all my sins. Lord, I need you and I believe now that you are the one and only God and Savior. With my mouth, I confess all my sins and with my heart, I believe that you will forgive me as you die on the cross for all my sins once and for all. Please forgive me, Lord Jesus. Please come into my life. I want you to be my Lord. I commit my life into your hands. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Lord Jesus, we acknowledge you as the greatest superhero in our lives. You are almighty and you are the most powerful. And thank you, God, for saving all our lives. And we believe that you are always ready to fight for us when our enemies come to attack us. And you are always ready to help us in big and small problems. God, we know that we are forever safe in your arms. Thank you, Lord. You are our superhero. Now, Eagle Kids, please raise your hands and receive your blessings. May the power of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon all of you. And may God bless everything that you do. And throughout your days, you will receive favor from God. And His love, joy, and peace will overflow in you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Everybody say, Amen. Bye-bye. Hi, welcome back to Activity Time. So today we're going to make something fun. We're going to make treasure chest, okay? But first, you're going to need all of this, all right? You're going to need a styrofoam container like this, okay? But first, let's put this aside. Let's make the paint first. Okay, so we're going to need a brown colored paint, but if you don't have one, 
you can combine a red colored paint and a green colored paint okay and then all you need to do just mix this up like this so we're going to mix 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 okay okay but i think this one need a little bit more green so i'm going to add the green color and then i'm going to continue to combine this color okay it's starting to change into brown okay after you have your brown paint okay let's use a paintbrush to paint all over the styrofoam okay now use your paintbrush and then let's change the styrofoam from white into brown okay let's paint all over the container okay like this it's so fun so much fun okay let's change this white color into brown color okay but remember please be careful because the paint is wet okay you don't want your hand to change into brown color okay now after that please put this aside until it dries or you can fan it out to make it dry quicker okay now you will have something like this all we need to do is we're going to decorate this okay first let's take a piece of yellow colored paper and then let's draw some lines over here okay you will need your ruler then let's mark one and a half centimeters wide like this and then please make the lines over here okay so make several lines like this okay and after that let's take a marker i'm going to use an orange marker to make some polka dots over here okay so let's just draw some random polka dots like this all the way to the bottom okay then let's cut this out and then you will have something like this okay so we're going to need three belts for our treasure chest okay so first let's take one of the belts like this and then let's peel the double tape off and i'm going to show you how to put this together let's put this one over here okay and then put it slowly until all the way to the back all right now let's do the same thing with the other side okay let's take the second belt and then peel off the double tape okay then let's put it over here like this remember do it slowly and all the way to the back like this okay now for the third belt we're going to do the same thing but remember please do it after the hole okay so don't cover the hole over here okay let's peel this off then i'm going to show you where we should put it over here after the hole okay please leave the hole alone all right now all the way to the back and if you have some left over just cut this out using a pair of scissors okay now let's make the lock for our treasure chest so let's use this one is about the size two and a half centimeters times four centimeters okay now let's fold this into half vertically and 
then let's draw the lock so the size it looks like the number three like this very easy okay draw something like this and then cut this part out then you will have a hole in the middle like this okay put some double tape over here and then let's put this right here okay remember don't block the hole okay so leave the hole alone like this okay so you have your own treasure chest you can put your bible inside you can put your favorite toys inside okay so that's it for today good job guys see you next time god bless you it turns out that the real hero in bible is lord jesus and it's right we should always rely on him on any circumstances yay we finally get the answer now let's say it together jesus is the real hero one more time jesus, jesus is, is the, the real, real hero. hero okay now let's try open it whoa whoa, whoa. look whoa. look wait wait come come i want to see it i want to see it i think i can solve the code hmm <laughs> Can you do well, it? The code is pretty hard. I think you should okay. do this. Let me see. Oh, uh, oh no. This is kind of hard. I can solve this alone. See? I think it's time to ask our Eagle Kids friends. Kids, can you help us? So, to solve the code, we need to open up our Bible in the New Testament section. The first number shows which book that we need to open. For example, 1 is for Matthew, 2 for Mark, and 3 for Luke, and so on. The next number shows the chapter that we need to open. The third number means the first that we need to read. And the last number shows which word that we need to read. So, can you do it? Oh, this is too hard for me. Guys, can you please help us? You can ask your parents and siblings to help you. We are waiting for your answers next week on Eagle Kids Online Service. See you!